Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. This is fifth video on GDNT Simplified, fourth and final video on everything about datums. FOS datum feature at MMC. When FOS is referenced at MMC, gauge element is of fixed size. Size of the gauge element is determined by MMC limit size. The center plane or axis of the gauge element is the simulated datum. It results in datum shift when actual size of the part departs from MMC. Here in this picture, this uh, round part is uh, on this part, this uh, diameter is datum A and for this portion of the part, uh, we have specified a dimension 20 plus minus 0.1 and position tolerance of dia 0.1 uh, with respect to datum A, MMC symbol is given. So, for this part, the gauge element is of a fixed size and the simulated datum axis of this gauge element is the simulated datum. FOS datum feature, datum axis as MMC primary. In this case, FOS is used as a datum feature and referenced as primary datum MMC. The part is oriented and held securely in the fixed gauge to simulate the true geometric counterpart of a datum feature. Axis or center plane of the gauge element is the simulated datum axis or datum plane. As the actual size of the part departs from MMC, it results in a datum shift. Here again in this part, this diameter is datum A and this diameter uh, is uh, specified with the uh, position tolerance of 0.1 with respect to A, A is at MMC. So again this part uh, will be held in a fixed uh, gauge element and the simulated uh, axis of this fixed gauge element is the simulated datum axis. FOS datum feature, datum axis MMC secondary. So this part uh, in this uh, picture uh, is oriented by this surface and located by this diameter. So in this case we select uh, this face as primary datum and uh, this diameter as secondary. So for example these two holes and uh, this feature are referenced with uh, um, uh, are specified with uh, geometric tolerance position tolerance of 0.1 each and uh, primary datum is A and secondary is B at MMC. This part represents the geometric counterpart of the uh, part discussed in the previous slide. So it has, uh, a, the, this surface A has minimum 3 point contact with the primary datum plane and uh, B has a fixed size equal to MMC size and also B is perpendicular to datum A. Uh, as the actual size of the part departs from MMC, it results in datum shift. FOS datum feature, datum axis MMC secondary, datum center plane or axis MMC tertiary. So this part here uh, is oriented by this surface and located by this diameter. Also rotational degree of freedom is arrested by this diameter. So in this case, we select this face as a primary datum and this diameter as secondary and this diameter as tertiary. So here in this pictures, uh, you can see that uh, this face is datum A and this diameter is datum B and this diameter is datum C and these two holes for example are referenced with uh, primary datum A, secondary datum B at MMC and tertiary datum C at MMC. This part here represents the geometric counterpart or gauge element of the part discussed in the previous slide. So here this surface A has minimum of 3 point contact with the primary datum. B is of fixed size. C is also of fixed size. Both B and C are perpendicular to datum A. If C is a datum center plane, for example, it should pass through uh, datum uh, pass through B datum B and it should be perpendicular to datum A. So as the actual size of the part departs from MMC, it results in a datum shift. Now let us see what is datum shift. When a FOS datum feature is referenced at MMC, 
the gauge element to simulate the datum feature is of a fixed size. As the datum feature on the part departs from its MMC size, there may be some looseness between part and gauge element. This looseness results in a datum shift. The amount of datum shift equals to the difference between its MMC size and actual size. The maximum amount of datum shift is equal to the difference between its MMC size and LMC size. The datum shift results in an additional tolerance for a geometric tolerance. Now let us do some calculations. Here again on this part, this diameter is specified as datum A and its size is dia 50 plus minus 0.1. So, its MMC size will be 50 plus 0.1, LMC size will be 50 minus 0.1. So, total tolerance is 0.2. Here, for this part, the datum simulator size will be 50.1, that is MMC size. So, in this table here, uh, at MMC, its size is 50.1, that is 50 plus 0.1. At this uh, size, datum shift is 0. As it departs from MMC towards LMC, uh, the LMC size is 49.9 that is 50 minus 0.1. So the total tolerance here will be 0.2 and that is also the datum shift. Now let us see another example. Here the same part is taken and its diameter is again 50 plus minus 0.1 but here the straightness is given as 0.1 at MMC and it is specified as datum A. So in this case uh, the MMC size is 50 uh, plus 0.1 and the LMC size is 50 minus 0.1 and there is a straightness of 0.1 is given. So in this case the datum simulator size will be its uh, MMC size that is 50.1 plus its straightness and uh, total will be 50.2 millimeter. So in this table you can see its uh, uh, biggest size actual mating envelope uh, at its biggest size it will be 50.2 at this size you don't have any datum shift but at the MMC that is at 50.1 mm we have 0.1 mm datum shift and as the part uh, size departs from MMC to LMC that is it's at its LMC size that is 49.9 we have a total tolerance of 0.3 that is this plus minus 0.1 plus uh, this straightness 0.1 so the total tolerance is 0.3 and that is also the datum shift FOS datum feature datum axis of coaxial diameters datum axis of coaxial diameters is used when both diameters have an equal role in locating the part in assembly the datum axis established by two coaxial diameters is simulated by contacting uh, high points of both datum features that is diameters simultaneously here in this picture you can see uh, this diameter is specified as datum a and this is b and this diameter is uh, specified uh, geometric tolerance of uh, run out point 0.1 a to b in this case these two diameters are held in gauge elements and the simulated axis is called uh, datum axis A to B that is what is specified here A to B That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching